Hello and welcome back. This is Sangeeta Sharma and uh, I'm just going to read this poem once again for the purpose of explanation and uh, the word meaning that are supposed to be covered in this poem Indian Beavers by Sarojini Naidu. Let's start with the first stanza that is carrying the rhyming scheme of A A B B. Let's go line wise. Weavers waving at a break of day, why do you weave garments so gay? Blue is the wing of a healthy and wild. We weave the robes of a newborn child. Here, the poetess tries to signify the life, the very first stage of life, through the very lines, as uh, when the child is being born. and the atmosphere at home and everywhere all around is something like very happy type of uh, environment is there so the gay garment the happy garment has to be worn in at the break of the day so she is asking the question to the weavers that the colors blue the blue color the vibrant blue color that signifies happiness happiness and the color is being compared to the kingfisher the kingfisher the bird that is um, having the vibrant uh, very uh, beautiful blue plumes and uh, it's also known to be the halcyon so this is wild halcyon here and she asks the question to the weavers that why are you weaving such a vibrant colored garment so they reply the reply comes as we weave the robes of a newborn child the covering robes means covering of a newborn child the word halcyon here stands for the word meaning is given here on your left halcyon is a kingfisher bird a bird um, that has um, the feathers in colorful bright vibrant plumes plumes means feathers so once again i would like to repeat the thing weavers weaving at break of day why do you weave a garment so gay blue is the wing of a healthy and wild reply comes from the weaver side we weave the robes of a newborn child so this was the first stage of the life of uh, a human uh, basically uh, the birth the event of birth the second even in the second stanza signifies the wedding time the again beautiful time uh, a very prominent time in the life of any person and here it shows again the pompousness the happiness of that atmosphere so i'm just reading the second passage uh, the stanza sorry uh, here the second stanza stands for weavers weaving at fall of night why do you weave a garment so bright it's again more brighter than the previous garment that was being woven for a child child is so young and uh, here the second stage signifies the very maturity the colors the uh, happiness of this event uh, basically of wedding so she asks the question why do you weave a garment so bright and the comparison has been made the metaphorical comparison has been made here with the plumes of a peacock peacock you must have seen it has got wonderful colors i mean vibrant uh, it's unbelievable to have such a beautiful nature is unbelievable okay might have seen the uh, peacock's feathers so she poses the question to the weavers when they are weaving the things at full of night during the night time when they are weaving in full swing and the garment was so bright having the beautiful colors uh, of a the feathers of a peacock those are particularly purple and green very significant purple green blues and then the reply comes we weave the marriage veils of a queen so they had been uh, weaving uh, an attire a wonderful beautiful attire for the wedding of a queen so this signifies the happiness the merriment and uh, the times uh, when 
the weavers are simply weaving uh, for the happy time and a very for a very happy occasion of the lifetime of any person and particularly it has been woven for the wedding dress of a queen so here one word appears plumes so these are actually uh, the soft feathers the soft feathers of birds principally and that too of a peacock uh, moving towards the last stanza this is actually signifying the ultimate uh, stage of life of a human being uh, as we all know that we are all born and then we attain youth we live a life of contentment success and everything and then it comes the time this is the reality the hard reality of life that we have to uh, we have to wind up our journey here and then we have to make a move so here this signifies the time when it is the evening time and uh, uh, the evening of life also that we have attained the complete maturity and we are moving towards a new journey through a new life so the last stanza the concluding stanza is slightly gloomy but uh, it is actually the reality of life so we have to just face that we was weaving solomon still still calmly quietly and uh, without making much of sound this is actually uh, the time when the moonlight is there it's very dark and uh, it's very cold night cold again signifies the there is no warmth in the word itself the word itself signifies the calmness and uh, the dullness of uh, approaching um, death and uh, the life with that's getting over so here we require some peace and we are looking for some solitude and during these times so she asked the question why do you weave in the moonlight chill it's very cold night and it's very uh, the moonlight is there the light is the light of the moon also signifies coldness the weather is very cold it's chilling cold and the garment that they are weaving right now again signifies the very dullness and calmness and complete uh, something like serenity of the very thing so here uh, she uh, actually uses the color she has been using the colors in order to explain the intensity of the events the times etc so here this is the final stage and the color here that signifies peace and the dullness sometimes and signifies the death here is um, white as a feather though it's calm cool as white as a cloud it's very light and then the reply comes ultimate reply comes we weave a dead man's funeral shroud the word in the highlighted uh, manner here it's highlighted the last word of this last line the concluding line is uh, uh, we weave a dead man's funeral shroud on the left hand side if you see that here the shroud means a cloth in which uh, a dead person is wrapped that signifies calmness peace and almost like um the coldness of uh, the event actually and the event of death that has to be something like very calm and very peaceful so these were the three stages that we have just uh, discussed uh, again i would like to conclude within a few lines about the three stages of life that she has mentioned the first stage as the birth the birth of the child where the weavers have been weaving the cloth in bright blue uh, white, white bright blue and uh, blue in color and that is being compared to the 
feathers of the kingfisher hence and while and um, then the reply comes when the question is being posed to them why you are weaving so the garment so bright bright that in a blue color so the reply was that it was meant for the birth that signifies celebration and is vibrant in color so that is why uh, the newborn child's birth is being celebrated through this blue color garment now the second one that second phase uh, signifies the youth of a human being here the youth signifies the wedding also and it's one more prominent uh, uh, event of somebody's life so here the second question that she poses to and the weavers is that weavers at the fall of night and during the evening time why do you weave a garment so bright so the garment that has been woven during this particular time of the day and it has been very bright the brightness of the color is being depicted by the vibrancy of uh, the colors like purple and green purple and green huh? that signifies beauty uh, merriment happiness and everywhere it's something like uh, beautiful so they replies Mm, they replied uh, the weavers they replied that uh, they had been weaving the marriage attire or the garment of a queen now this was the second stage that goes over see look at the beautiful usage of the words and the colors how they are being matched in such a way the color with the event the color with the word the metaphorical uh, comparisons that have been made with the times and the garments and the colors as well and uh, the viewers about uh, the final stage of life that why they had been weaving during the cold moonlight under the moonlit night they had been weaving this garment and that was white in color generally the garments are being woven in whites only later they are being dyed in different colors as per the usages there and um, here they had been only and uh, exclusively weaving the white garment and which is white like a feather and which is white like a cloud that shows the highness even the coolness and the serenity of that very garment uh, white signifies peace generally and then the final reply comes as we weave a dead man's funeral shroud the dead man is supposed to be wrapped in the whites in general to signify peace and that also shows the dullness and the coldness of the event because this, this is actually the time that cannot be celebrated so the colors the usage the wonderful usage of the color that has been uh, arranged in such a manner along with the words as well as uh, the colors beautiful usage of colors and the rhyming scheme that we have already discussed in the last one a a b b c c d d e e and f f wonderful rhyming meter and it's a beautiful poem of uh, 12 lines in four stanzas and now the central theme the central theme of this poem by sarojini naidu is basically about the weavers the artisans and the craftsmen that how beautifully they uh, just celebrate the life and they just signify the events in the people's lives what is the importance of colors in somebody's life and how 
the life is being painted by the poetess herself is really commendable it's a wonderful poem i hope you would love that and uh, just go through it and just read it out and just try to feel the beauty of this poem thanks for watching thanks for listening see you next have a nice day